good evening. Welcome to the Scrap and Pallet Man channel. I need to pick up this scrap right meow. Come on, blah. It's mostly metal. Yeah. what all is here it's a whole scrap pile thank you you're awesome Is that a pressure washer? Hmm. Not metal enough. Oh, it still has the tag on it. Don't quite see a price. All kinds of goodies here. help if I wouldn't step on the cord. These folks know the scrap game. Thank you. Not very heavy. I don't think I'll even need to drop the tailgate. Ooh, is that gonna break? It's made of plastic, but I just definitely don't want it, it breaking in, in mid-swing. There's water in there. I have one, two, three, four cords to clip. Mm, at the next stop. There's one puppy. There's two puppies. There's three puppies. Thank you for putting your scrap out. Um, yeah, I do have a business card, or you can you can put it on the curb like this on any garbage day. There's like I don't know five or six of us scrappers that uh, just roam around during. Okay. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, we'll we'll definitely grab it. Thank you. That'll stay there. Just kidding. I smell vinegar. Like big time. Wow. Oh, it's not vinegar. It's the <laughs> it's the brand new mulch that was put down today. Oh, it's being put down right now. Come on, Paul. <laughs> vinegar. Cracking myself up. I know some folks are like, dude, you need to give her your card. Um, yeah, I, it, to me, it's simpler, um, than getting a phone call, than having to make a special trip, uh, you know, for five or ten dollars. Um, I, and, and I try not to be looking a gift horse in the mouth, um, but also, you know, what if I'm not feeling well? you know, that day, and or I'm not, you know, and the scrap comes out here, and all of a sudden now I'm, um, I feel obligated. Uh, not only do I feel obligated, sometimes 
I might actually be obligated by a particular person. But I can't. You were supposed to come out and get that scrap metal. How come you didn't? This isn't working out like I wanted it to. Uh, truck's full. Thank you for the reminder. like a nice little path for the electric bike. This is one of the lamps that has that really strange socket. All right, let's go on here. I don't want to untie it. I just want it like not connected. Yeah, it's another one of those. Funky sockets. Hi. Helium steel right here. bit better. <laughs> okay. It's all aluminum, I believe. Yep, that's steel. So, should I take this and, um, I don't know, turn 50 cents into a dollar 25 by Spending 15 minutes, maybe. Matters if I feel like it. I had kind of a not so nice comment in my video from a couple a couple of videos ago. Like, man, I remember you used to, you know, take things apart or something, you know. And and they're just basically giving me a hard time for for not doing it and I don't know it's like you start taking stuff apart that you're expending this energy that you cannot get back you know let's say in a day I have you know five or six hours of like really good energy time you know do I want to spend it you know out running around having a good time <laughs> street scrapping uh, making videos editing answering comments 
or do I want to take stuff apart and not edit and not run around and that stuff. For me, the answer is really easy. I'm going to do stuff that's fun. I mean, honestly, I, I, just, I just don't see me being 85 years old, you know, and saying, man, I wish I had taken more stuff apart. <laughs> I just don't see me doing that. All right, let's put a rope around it. Yeah, I think that'll work. But I do see myself saying, man, I wish I had more fun. Yeah, there's no way I'm gonna grab a kid's bike that's right there, and plus it doesn't it doesn't look bad. So when in doubt, just leave it alone. You okay if I recycle your metal? Go ahead. Thank you. Yep. Oh, look at the size. Look at the size of that jack. Is it for a, a semi truck? I'm in the way. Is that even a jack? What is this thing? <laughs> There's a socket stuck to the end. Oh, yeah, let's get ownership of this first. So I was sweeping out the back of my truck and my broom just completely caved on me. I don't see anything else. Burp, burp, burp. No car's gone. Things and start rolling around. Right. That's better. We hi, Rufus. Yeah, I need to find it. So I'm gonna look out for another broom. And still on the lookout for a piano bench and four um, cinder blocks to put my uh, stainless steel workbench up on cinder blocks. Is that my truck? My ladder rack. Whew. Hopefully, it wasn't my truck locking its own doors. It's okay, don't get jealous. Wow. Huh. Yep. It did. Not cool, dude. Not cool at all. This guy just flagged me down. I said, You want this bicycle? Definitely. You don't want the bike no more? Not anymore, man. Okay, thank you, sir. All right. All right, have a good day. Let's, uh, Schwinn. Cool. Is there something else over there? Uh, nah. Cool. All right, I better get out of the road. I'm in the way. All right, I'm done with my scrap route for this evening. 
yeah, some evening scrapping. So we'll do the same route uh, tomorrow morning. So, uh, yeah. I like that little 20 inch bike. <laughs> that person's vehicle sounds like a, a chainsaw. <laughs> That's funny stuff. So yeah, spent a few minutes um, just putting stuff away and throwing some stuff away. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm not gonna use that coloring book. <sighs> I'm tired. Yeah, so I think I'm gonna go home, take a shower, and um Rinse and repeat. Good morning. Train going by. I'm in my old neighborhood. There's scrap on the curb. It's not working. push tabs you have to have a tool that always makes it pleasant let's just add a struggle in there <laughs> all right so this one doesn't yeah it does right there <laughs> this has pinchomatic written all over it Wow. I, I don't want... <sighs> what I want is to take that apart properly. So what I'm gonna do is, it has to be in this one, is I'm gonna take a screwdriver and try to take those tabs um, completely off. Because every time I move it, it's, the tab's gonna come back into the, into it. Oh, that's it? See how it's spring-loaded? That's what I wanted it. <gasps> that way it doesn't go back in. Trying to do stuff with things in your hands. There we go. Yay. Wow. That was definitely, it made me work for the $1 of scrap. Okay, good, good, good. Anything, anything. What is this? It looks formal. Encyclopedia Hispanica. That's awesome. Seriously. This isn't trash. All right, this is getting donated. C. Weather person says it's supposed to be warm and nice today. I'm not quite feeling that. 
It is chilly. Hmm. I think I can put this chair right here. Maybe. Yeah. What's up, my brother? I've been enjoying the crazy uh, wildfire uh, yeah. sun slash so that... moon looking thing last couple of days. Yeah, Alberta's been been uh, having a lot of wildfires. Yeah, I wonder why it looks so weird the last couple of days. So, well, they're they're getting rid of their yard waste. Yeah, is that what they're doing? <laughs> well, good, because then I don't have to pick it up. Ah, <laughs> I'm tired. Yeah. It looks like you dressed for the weather today. It was oh cold. God, I was just about ready to take this one off. Uh, I'm getting, I actually just turned my heat off instead. Did you? I figured I'd, because once I get on the main drag and yeah. get going, then the breeze gets in and it gets a little chilly. Like this so. morning, I had my long sleeve shirt on, and then when I got in the truck, I'm like, I am not, I'm not warming up. Right. So I put my hoodie on, then I went and got gas, and I'm like, this isn't comfortable. Right. I want to be warm. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, but it's supposed to be like, what, 75 today? Yeah. So it's going to warm up. Yeah, I'm hoping to get off about noon so that I can actually maybe go home and work on the shop or take yeah. a nap. One or the other. Yeah. I almost got out of the parker last night. What? Oh. Yeah, I hit to the in softball? Yeah. If I had a 73 year old guy on first base in front of me. Right. So I didn't. I would have had it in the parker because I hit to the fence. Now, in, in softball, you get in trouble for knocking over the fence, right? Uh, it, in this league that we're in now, yeah. you have to have one designated home run hitter. Right. But that was me last night. Okay. I was the only one on our team. The other guy that can hit home runs wasn't there last night. Okay. So I said, I'm, I'll be the designated. So guy. you're allowed to? I'm allowed to, but right. someone else hits it, then they're not allowed to. Okay. It's an hour or whatever or something. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. Yeah, Something yeah. weird, but yeah, but I, I hit all the way there and I'm running, run, 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 <laughs> go. And it, it's funny because in the in the senior league, right. you can't run to home plate because they don't want collisions. Yeah, yeah, So yeah. they used to have a, a chalk line on the side and right. you just had to pass that line. As soon as you cross that line, you're good. you beat the ball, then you're safe. Right, right. Well, this year they put a, an actual base because people were complaining because they couldn't tell if you cross the line or not because they can't okay. see it like in the outfield. Yeah. And so my my guy ran in between the orange base and the white base and he was looking for the line. And oh. then he ran all the way to the fence. And I'm standing out there and I'm like, touch the orange one, touch the yeah. orange one. So he's like, then he ran back. So by then I could have scored. So it, it's kind of like life. Sometimes we just don't know the rules. It's confusing. You know? It's because it changed. And yeah. Then the 18 yeah. and up is totally different because you still run the home plate. Sure, and you sure. You still slide. All right, right. So my brain has to keep switching back and forth. Am I playing in the 18 and up today or the senior league today? Uh, so uh. The Sundays is the 18 and up. So. All right. But yeah. But so you're playing against 20 year olds? Oh, yeah. 18 and, 18 and up. Wow. Yeah. And I'm the. Uh, Either fastest, fastest slash second fastest on that team too. Okay. Because there's another guy uh, that's pretty darn quick. But so we're pretty comparable. So at some times, do you get like overly winded? Only usually only like this, like the first inning. Okay. Like when I was playing football, like yeah. that first quarter. Right. You know, once you get once you get the the breathing going, the blood flowing, then it's all good. You know. Okay. Then I'm a four, I've always, I'm a fourth quarter guy. Okay. So once once I get moving, then all the kids have been playing video games. They're the first quarter guys, and then they run out of gas. <laughs> yeah. And then I take it from there. Okay. <laughs> so it's like, so you know I'm the I'm the last leg of the. So of we have longevity team. with years and longevity in the game. It's a this man. Okay. Because you're just constant moving. Yeah. Moving, moving. Yeah. Moving, you know, you know it's, it, it's, it's funny you said that because like I've been scrapping more these last few months than I have like in a couple of years yeah. and it's like the more you do the more you can do right you know right and, as soon and as you stop yeah yeah because I know it's the last year you know I've been I've been hearing a lot of hard breathing on your videos yeah there. you know <laughs> what well, also you know losing some pounds and 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 just doing more yeah you know and eating better and, and all that stuff so yeah yeah so, but no, lately, dude, I've been feeling stronger, stronger than can be, you know, it's, um, yeah, but I'm going after this, this new health quest, yeah. you know, and, um, and it, it's not just like body. It's like my mind is healthier. My, my emotions are healthier. My, my energy is healthier. My focus is healthier, yeah. all of it. And it's, it's a trip, man. Well, and that makes a huge difference because like last night, you don't think much of it, but after being worn out in the sun all day long doing this, yeah. and then you go try to run, 
you may feel like you're going to, but your body says otherwise. Yeah. So I drank my protein shake right before I played. Okay. Usually I'll have a banana, like right. when I'm on the way to the park. Mm -hmm. And then usually I have my protein shake like at halftime. Okay. But we're only playing an hour instead right. of like in the winter time we play two hours. So I drink it in the middle. But since we're only playing an hour, I just drank it ahead of time. Right. And then I felt like a million bucks. That's right? good. It just, it just replenishes that what, stuff. What's the brand of shake you do? Uh, it's dime dimatize. Okay, I okay. Send you a picture, but yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah I, I get the big old because when I when I started playing for the semi pro football, I went in there. I said, "What does a forty year old wide receiver need to uh, you know nutrition wise right, to right. keep up with these kids?" You know, and so they got yeah they they uh, I got the chocolate. I was I was back and forth between chocolate and vanilla because right. I love vanilla. Right. But he's like, dude, trust me, you're gonna want the chocolate. So they just take one scoop. And right. you just fill up about that much water in your shaker, shake take it up, it with drink you? it, and it's just okay. It's, it's, a, it's just rock and roll, man. And it it took all the all the cramping and stuff away. Right. I used to cramp like crazy, you know, yeah. at night when I play that a double header or something. I've been cramping and getting in muscle twitches, a lot of yeah. muscles oh, twitches. Yeah. yeah, that'll definitely help. The banana, the bananas for sure. I eat potassium. I eat bananas, peanuts. And then I drink the protein shake. Okay. And that made almost all the cramps go away. I got almost like a little bit one last night when right. I was vegging watching YouTube all night. Yeah. You know, I stayed up till like 1230 this morning. I was woke up by, by cramps yeah. last night. And uh, I mean, a lot of in my, 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 my quads and in my, in my calves and in my feet too. Oh, like oh yeah. Like the bottom of my feet, like, you know, the. Oh yeah, or, this one. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that yeah, one. that part. Yeah. <laughs> I get that one all the and time. It's like, Last night I'm like, well, how can I? It wouldn't stop. Yeah. You know. Yeah, I always <laughs> gotta put my toe on the heel and pull it back. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yep. Yeah, I've woke up many times with that one. That one hurts. Yeah, <laughs> it, it's a. Hurts. You can't. It, it's it's inescapable. Right. You know, it, it wants your attention. It's going to get your attention. Right. If you if you drink your protein shakes and make sure right. you drink a lot of water, it'll definitely make a huge difference. Okay. You'll get rid of a lot of those. Speaking of water, I need I need to fill up. I'm getting kind of low. Yeah. Right. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah. Not much left. All right, man. I'm gonna get rolling. <laughs> All right, man. All right, man. I'll see you. Be yeah, that was the original G Man. I call him the OG Man. <laughs> yeah, he was the the. I don't know. I was probably doing my scrapping videos maybe six months or so, and I met. Uh, I met him. He actually. Um, yeah, it was over on the south side of DeKalb, and. Um, just like immediately, he was like completely cool. He's like, hey man, get any good scrap? I'm like, yeah. Because I had started putting in my videos this little clip uh, or a saying, you know, that he is uh, my, my nemesis. Um, that The garbage man was the eater of scrap. And uh, I used to ask him like, you know, how, how come you're, you know, how come you're getting rid of all this good stuff? He's like, I, I didn't throw it away. I'm like, oh, good point. <laughs> and we just hit it off as friends ever since. Well, I guess we did get iron ore from the ground. So I guess going back to, wait, is that wire in the trash? No way. I don't want the string per se, but I do want the insulated copper wire. This is the good stuff too. This is the dollar a pound type stuff. <laughs> what I was, <laughs> what I was mouthing off about <laughs> was iron and steel because that's what steel is, is iron and some other product it came from the ground. So if it goes back in the landfill, it's like, all right, we should put it back where we found it. <laughs> kind of, you know weird way yeah thanks for uh signaling me to get the scrap yeah appreciate it i know you like the all things metal yes sir thank you all right appreciate you sure enough. see you around As a bird, my avian dinosaur buddy. Wow, what is that thing? Hmm, that's an old timing type 
Till. Um, yeah. So we're gonna fold this thing up. Nope. It probably is, but it's not necessarily cooperating. All right. Those two hinges say no. Yeah, I don't think so. I think that's just it. Now this thing, wow. I'll bet, okay, there was something else here for a while. Huh. That would be like cool lawn art. It's not light. I mean, it's not crazy heavy, but it's probably 80 pounds. Oh yeah, that's definitely 80 or more. Yep. But this, yeah, this design for a, an animal to pull or something. I don't know, maybe a lawn tractor, but. <laughs> yep, that is significant. Oh, kind of worked. It's trying to convince me to be smart. Lay it down. Right here. Just in case I find. Oh. It's not very fun. In case I find more stuff. some room. Washer and dryer, refrigerator. All right, how about this? That's not what I wanted to do. This is what I wanted to do. Yeah.
Yep, definitely warming up. I see scrap. Actually, that's not a bad bike. You okay if I recycle your metal? No, go ahead. You want another? I have one more bike. Yes, thank you. <laughs> okay. All right. Smart move. Thank you. My buddy gave me a call, said he has a couple water heaters for me. I'm like, a couple of water heaters? <laughs> All right, cool. Yeah, it's definitely a couple of water heaters. Might have been too close. Too close for comfort. <laughs> I remember that show. It was one of my favorite TV shows. Spe <laughs> Especially the guy Monroe. He was a hoot. Sometimes the two ladies, girls, um, in that TV show, Too Close for Comfort, they seemed like they were acting or being a character. You know, and, and I don't know about you, but when I, when there's like overacting, it, uh, it just feels weird. Ooh, this one's heavier. Or I'm weaker. Probably should do one at a time, huh? I'm asking for trouble. But yeah, and I think was it was it Ted that was the dad? No, I can I can load both of these at once. That was not fun. <sighs> yeah, all these little micro injuries. I don't know, I think my body does pretty well. Our bodies are amazing. Just like the biology of healing, that's like some amazing stuff. Yep, there's no getting around that. Our bodies are amazing. And they're really amazing like when things go a little sideways. All right, let's uh, tie a rope around it. I think hey, you Yep, 
Yeah, I think I'm going to go around them twice and then terminate on the same side. I don't know. No. I'll terminate on this side. That bird. Dee 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 dee. That was installed in 1999. 23 years. <laughs> hmm. You know what? Let's go around one more time. Bird is singing away. Man, they're busy right now. Um, Seven thousand two hundred pounds, my guess. The way it is, oh, that's nice. Seven thousand three twenty. Or spot man that's a it looks like a whole laundromat got dumped at the scrapyard yeah, there's a lot of activity as long as we all know where each other is we are good um, yeah, I'm going to go this direction. A little bit more. Yeah, about right there. Got the sweeper. I like it. Yeah, they're all the same. They're all similar. All right, enough looking around. All right, I'm gonna untie this real quick and then we'll get the offload started. Nice day. Sit down, sit down. Let me tell you a tale, let me tell you a story. up with me I wanted to run away needed her to let me be but now I see I was trying to run from me what do you see is she beautiful or 
Chords. Spin all the way around. Tails in the way. So I got a full tank, so I'm gonna guess six thousand five sixty. I see zeros at the display. And no way. Six five six zero. Yep, yep, yep. Try not to be too much in the way here. But no matter what, I'm going to be in the way somewhat. He's got a Tommy left. Thank you. You have a good day. What's up, Michael? What's it doing? Wow, it's nice out there. It is. We're gonna have some rain tomorrow, though. Oh, it's gonna rain? Yeah. Nice. I'm with you. It'll keep all the dust down in the scrap here. So, how's your Thursday going? It's going. I'm having coffee. Oh, it's my blood I, I need some coffee. I am sleepy. Oh. I try not to have coffee too early, because then later it doesn't work. No. But I'm trying to lay away from it. You know how I told you that? You know, I just learned something about caffeine. I, I don't, I'm not sure if you're... Um, you probably know this already. No, I don't. Caffeine know. doesn't actually get you all fired up. Caffeine just takes away the sleepy hormones. Yeah. Um, I didn't realize that. Well, today I'm feeling so it. I heard something... I don't know how, it's not explained, it wasn't explained, but it was told by his doctor right. that um, 
cat. I actually have to read more about it. I'm not even gonna say it. But it it does it doesn't help with. I'm gonna keep it to myself. Uh, weight loss, but it, to me, caffeine does help with weight loss. Um, caffeine um, can get us doing other things yeah, besides eating. So, yeah, so it's not that it um it it helps directly. It helps indirectly. Yeah. Is that the right way? Of saying no, it? absolutely no, because we're doing something else. Yeah. And I don't know about you, but with me, hunger and wanting to eat comes in waves. If I just resist for like five minutes or ten minutes. My attention deficit takes over and I'm doing something else. Yeah, right on. Um, so, it, sure. yeah, hunger comes in waves, my emotional want for eating goes in waves, and if I ignore it, do you get the numbers right? It should be like 700 like something. 780, I'm like, yeah. heavy today. Yeah, thanks man. See All right, boss. I'll see you later. You 780, that's pretty sweet. I thought the scrap was singing. It sounds like the scrap. It's coming out of this. It sounds like the music's coming out of this. Hey, hey. How are we doing today? All right. UPS driver. He's jamming. Yeah, I didn't want to get a copyright strike because. YouTube and the music in it's actually driven by the music industry. The music industry is so hungry for a dollar Corporations are so hungry for a dollar that they would take my YouTube ad revenue however small however slight they'll take it in an instant just because there's a hint of some Tune in there and it's not going to the creators. It's going to those um, the, the corporations that own the copyrights so yeah, don't mess with the corporation and their money. Woo! God, thank you for this day. Thank you for this time. Thank you for uh, this, just the moment. Thank you for putting, putting joy into the moment. Yeah, Lord, and, and keep that, uh, keep that joy going. Even though sometimes I'm feeling tired and sleepy, um, especially this week, I've been, I've been, going a little bit more than usual and um i know it's good for my body it's good for my soul it's uh it's good for me to push thank you for that god and lord thank you for for the money and the provisions that you provide uh, for the day give me this daily bread i ask for in the name of jesus amen amen that's good let's see a 50 and a 20 and a five in a one so uh, a commenter friend of mine said that his sister I believe whenever she gets a five dollar bill she puts that into her her piggy bank and she's been saving her five dollar bills for years I think that is awesome uh, just to have even though the value of a dollar is less so actual money is not a good investment itself unto itself uh, though I like the thought of taking my $5 bills and putting them away somewhere. So yeah, I'm going to start doing that. Uh, just to do it. Yeah. And, and these days, I've been doing stuff that I've never thought possible. For one, not quitting things. Um, a lot of people ask, hey Paul, what's your, uh, what's your secret to... Uh, it, this guy's taking pictures and stuff. Like literally, he just like stopped his car right there and just pulled out a nice camera and took a picture. <laughs> what was I saying? I can't remember what I was talking about. Oh yeah, about about my the YouTube channel. Now, how come you know how come you're getting X amount of views and X amount of subscribers? And you know I don't ask for subscribers. I never do say hey like and subscribe and do a comment and I that's just I'm, it just feels weird. And for one, it's a vanity number. Subscribers don't actually change anything with the amount of views or with the amount of, of uh, exposure, uh, or ad revenue, none of that stuff. It, it's, 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 a, it's a vanity number. It's something to show off, like view count. 
You know, if someone watches the, the video for 10 seconds, it's considered a view. If someone watched the whole entire thing, uh, it's considered a view. Um, a lot of times, most people that watch this channel, most people that watch videos aren't subscribed to the channel. But YouTube knows that they like it from if they rewind or if they've liked or if they've done other things to indicate to YouTube that they've enjoyed that content. YouTube will recommend that content. For instance, my channel gets recommended on your feed if you're subscribed or not. So anyway, <laughs> I'm coming back to a point. Bear with me. <laughs> yeah. They asked, why is your channel successful? And I say, because I haven't quit. I just didn't stop. That's all. And no matter what I'm doing in life, if I don't stop, if I have a progressive realization of a goal, I'm successful. All I have to do is just not quit. You know, I've had a lot of other channels, you know, with, I mean, a, much more talent than than me. They have much more talent in the, uh, um, in the visual presentation of their channel, unlike me just running around with a camera on my head and chit chat. <laughs> Even though I, I, I do realize that God did definitely give me the, the gift of gab. Though these folks have a lot of a lot of talent, but they wound up doing the what is we call in YouTube a fatal flaw, which is to stop making videos. I just didn't quit. So Oh, we never did talk to, about money, did we? we Talk to God. Thank you, God. Um, <laughs> 785 or 80 pounds, 195 dollars in that ton. So a little bit of an adjustment uh, south of. So it's a little bit less than, like, just a fraction less than 10 cents a pound. 76 dollars and five cents. That's pretty good. Thanks for hanging out with me. You're awesome, and I mean that. You. You bring me joy when I see that people enjoy the, the the videos, and they and you say it. You say, "Hey, Paul, enjoyed the video. Thanks for for running around." Um, that brings me joy when I when I come home at night. As you know, I w I'll go out in the morning um, first thing uh, and run around and bring stuff to the scrapyard and call it a day I'll go home I eat lunch I edit the video I do the upload process and a lot of times lately I'm feeling good even after that my lips are chipped sorry Phil. my lips are sticking to my teeth <laughs> um, a lot of times the, if I'm feeling good I'm, I'm like I'm not done I want to go scrapping some more so I'll do some evening scrapping but I'll start a new video with that because I, I have an empty truck and I like a video I like to watch a video that begin has a beginning, an empty truck or an air, some some it could be any video. If it has a beginning, a middle part, the 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 narrative it has a conclusion. I like that. Hey, I'm trying to sleep over here. So that's what I try to do. I try to just have a beginning, a middle, and an end to every video because it feels natural to me to to do it, and it feels natural to me as a viewer to watch something that has a beginning, a middle, some kind of a, a struggle or the, the process of whatever's going on, and then the wrap up. So thanks for hanging out with me. Seriously, you are awesome. And I, I mean that. I mean that word joy, that you bring me joy when I hear and when I see uh, that, that it is enjoyed. And anybody that makes YouTube videos, knows that view count and subscriber count that is not the metric to to look at to see if someone's enjoying the videos it is watch time so i can look at some videos and if most of my viewers are gone within the first first 30 seconds they didn't enjoy it if my average view is 50 60 70 80 percent of the video that means there's enjoyment, and I don't know about you, enjoyment is fun. Fun, for me, is like 
the spice. You know, it makes it's it's flavorful. I, I like fun, fun at all costs. So, all right, have fun today. I am. I'm gonna go edit this video. I'm gonna take Olivia out, then edit the video. One man's trash is another man's treasure. From then to now, thank God it got better.